What's going on, y'all? It's Mason Blaisdell, your Austin real estate agent, and here we are in Pioneer Hill to take a look at, again, one of my clients' favorite neighborhoods for so many good reasons. One of very few places that you can get a new build construction home in the kind of 400,000 range, and this neighborhood is known for having a really modern contemporary architecture for a lot of the homes all being within that four to $500,000 range. It's a tremendous value for the money. Let's jump in the car, take you on a little bit of driving tour, tell you about location, a little bit about what the housing's like out here and what it would be like to live here. If you're looking to move to this area, this is gonna be the ultimate guide for you. Let's jump in the car and get rolling. All right, y'all, so starting off, we're pulling out of the amenity center here for Pioneer Hill right now. And like I mentioned in the intro, you know, they say in real estate, location, location, location. This one really is fantastic. Being right here, so close to so many things, you know, being right off of 290, being right off of I-35, we're tucked back in far enough that it's still quiet, it's very safe. You know, in, in a lot of ways it feels suburban, even though you're really not far out from anything all the perks of that but being still within a very very short drive to basically anywhere you know having really easy freeway access makes this one of the really preferred locations especially if you commute downtown if you're going to you know the dell or samsung or general motors complexes that they've got here off of palmer lane you know i can literally see it out of my window right now um, from the top of this hill if, going to any of those locations this is prime for it now like i mentioned this was a dr horton community and it's really known for it was most unique for having a more modern contemporary type of architecture for the houses they're a little more trendy you're going to notice you know a little bit harder edges you're going to notice you know that they really tried to capture a lot of natural light a lot of larger windows those kind of things i won't say abnormal for dr horton but it's definitely not their standard line um they really wanted to capture something and make it something unique here you know by just adding a little bit of that flavor to it so as we drive through some of these homes you'll notice that of course we happen to pick driving through here on trash day but it's such a lovely day we just had to do it now let's talk about location as far as commutes go now we're only a 15 to 20 minute drive to get downtown from here without any traffic of course this is austin you can have traffic here so you know bear with it if you commute during rush hour maybe make that 30 maybe 35 minutes realistically um but it's really not bad it's really really not bad especially once you factor in how much you get for your money here uh commute to the airport 25 minutes you jump straight down on the 183 takes you anywhere you need to go easy easy there you've also got easy access like i mentioned to samsung to general motors to a lot of the different employers around here very easily right off of palmer those are within five ten minutes depending on location um if you're moving here for tesla 183 to 290 to 130 easy easy drive less than 20 minutes you know and and all of this frankly with a price point in the mid fours and mid five hundred thousands it's actually pretty funny at the time of recording this video there are no houses for sale in here um it's actually pretty rare they come up now, this is not a huge community. You know, I don't know the exact number, but if I was to ballpark it, 800 to 1,000 homes probably. It's crazy. People generally don't move from here. Um, now, there is a wide variety of housing out here too. Everything from more of your townhouse style, you know, garage out of the back uh, from an alleyway type of home, you know, all the way to your traditional single family. Um, and there are some more traditional style of architecture homes as well. But you'll notice, people just generally tend to stay here and that's you know a really good testament to just how much the community offers and what it's like to actually live here now as far as amenities go you know this is a dr horton community and if you're familiar with any of their others they always put some really nice amenities in here as well you'll find a really nice pool uh, this one's not set up as a lap pool but you've got easy access to gyms and stuff around here if that's important to you there is an indoor community space, you know, a little like event center type of place where you could host birthday parties, small gatherings, you know, something you may not want to have in your house. Uh, there's a great space for it. Of course, you know, restrooms and stuff to go with the pool, a nice playground. There's walking paths that go through the neighborhood and of course, sidewalks everywhere. You'll see people as we're driving through here out and about going for walks. Um, it's just a really pleasant place to be. You've got a little bit of natural variation in the, in the landscape here you know obviously this is central texas generally is pretty flat this one's not it gives a little bit of character to the neighborhood which is really really cool 
Now let's talk housing. So like I mentioned, there are some more townhouse style units. There's also a lot more single family. Homes in here can range from down about 1300 feet plus or minus there, all the way up to close to 3000. So again, there's kind of something here for everybody. Most of the homes in here are falling in that 1800 to 2000 square foot range. You'll find quite a few of them have nice green belt behind it. You'll find quite a few of them have some views. You know, like I mentioned, it is a little bit hilly out here which is nice and more rare for the neighborhood. Most of the homes out here are gonna have a little bit more of that modern contemporary style. Um, and of course too, you're gonna find, there are a couple of more traditional, you know, if you like the red brick style uh, of home, there's even a couple options for you out here this way. Um, but that contemporary is gonna be what's traditional. And usually that is what does sell people on this community in particular. Now pricing, at least as of this time, um, is, you know, you can expect it to be right around that $400,000, $500,000 range. Some of the smaller townhomes can even touch in the 300s, but it is a really tremendous value for money. The tax rate out here, at least as of the time of recording this video, is 2.33%. Very reasonable, you know, when some of the locations not even very far from here are up in the threes. You know, of course that increase your carrying costs pretty high. It can increase your monthly mortgage pretty high. So all in all, really relatively moderate tax rate, which is very nice. And the HOA fee here is only $45 per month, again, as of the time of recording this video. So again, very reasonable, especially considering the amenities you have here. Now, if this tour was helpful to you, if you are looking for an agent to either buy or sell in this community, and you want someone who aggressively will work on your behalf, I'd love to be that resource for you. Reach out anytime, call, text, email me, my direct contact info is on the screen. Thanks for watching, I'll see y'all next time.